Katie, Katie Noel, Katie Noel, Katie Noel, oh, up church, up church, up church, yeah, up church, up church, up church, yeah, let's get it. Da, 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 da. You know my squad, you know my squad, I said I ain't nobody messing with my squad. Subscribe squad, it's another day, it's another dollar, and it's time for another freaking reaction, because that is what we do. You look at me and I look at you, you look at me and I look at you, that is what we do. Well, today we're going to react to Katie, Katie Noel, Katie Noel, oh, up church, up church, up church, yeah. We're reacting to Katie Noel and Ryan up church today. But before we do that, I need you to go ahead and hit that like button. I need you to hit that sub button. I need you to hit that bell button. Because you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. My bell. Ring it, ring it, ring it. That way you know every single time. Every single time I drop a new video. Okay? Okay. Also, subscribe squad, we are at 8K, which means we are on track. We are way on track. For our goal, but we are on this road to get the 10k subs by the end of the year. And I know for a fact, Scribe Squad, that we can do it because I'm out here chasing my dreams. You're out here chasing our dreams. So we're gonna chase our dreams together. We're gonna get to 10k subs. Once we do get to 10k subs, I'm gonna drop the first remix on the channel. The first, first, first remix on the channel. You know, I'm gonna hit you with the bars too. <laughs> All right, with that being said, today we're reacting to Caden Well and Ryan Upchurch, Queen of the South. It was heavily requested here in the comments. Make sure you tap in those comments and let me know what else that you want me to um, react to. Keep commenting in the same song until I get to that song. I'm not forgetting. I am looking at the comments to see what it is that you guys want. Trust me, I'm tapped in and I'm paying attention. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's see what they're talking about. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's my passenger seat empty. You can see because my window's down. You can't ride with me because my big seat put in big dog down. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh, 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 fresh and dead. A newly set up Georgia produce stand. She's a woman. I'm a fucking man. I'm the fucking woman. Don't need a man. Oh, Lord. Yeah, okay. All right. Talk about it. Talk that stuff, Katie. Katie. <laughs> man, I'm a fucking man. I'm the fucking woman. Don't need a man. Oh, Lord. Somebody pull the cord. The game's getting floored by. Okay, so this is what you guys are talking about, about the fact that he uh, co-signed her. Okay, all right, all right. I see, I see, I see, I see. I like this picture, too. It's kind of turned up. Uh, beach fun hair, as she five foot four, co-signed by me, blow smoke on them, girl. Hey, hold up. Diesel gang, diesel gang. Prime me up, truck rice, add a couple chicken wings. Buy a truck in the truck show, in the truck show name, and your pussy boy Facebook page. That's besides the point, you need to get some ointment. I'm slaying piggies when they won't stop oinking. I pick up the pace, forklift or something. No back brace when I feel shit, homie. I still show up spine cocked to the slate right No gun or knife We chopped off hands Mean mugging motherfuckers Really when they trying to fight Yeah I know I ain't right Also not left That's a motherfucking fact Go check my credit Okay check You said check your credit Okay Ryan Okay check your credit then Check it Mean mugging motherfuckers Really when they trying to fight Yeah I know I ain't right Also not left That's a motherfucking fact Go check my credit He said y'all know I ain't right Also not left I'm weak Mean mugging motherfuckers Really when they trying to fight Yeah I know I ain't right Also not left That's a motherfucking fact Go check my credit <laughs> ah, 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 I'm weak. Alien, I probably got a fuck you face on Reddit. Ain't one song that I ever regretted. Tattoos on the town like ink in my freckles. Mm -hmm. I'm so Dixie fucking whistles. Miss me so bad ass pistols want to whip me. My he said, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's so Dixie. He's so bad ass pistols want to whip me. My passenger seat empty. You can see because my window's down. You can't ride with me because my big seat put in big dogs down. Well, the fresh, 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 fresh are dead. A newly set up Georgia produce stand. She's a woman, I'm a fucking man. I'm the fucking woman, don't need a man. First things first, I was raising the A2A up church. 
Okay, she she shot out her whole town did. Shout it out. 828 did, okay? First things first, I was raising the 828. Up charging myself, making country rep great. Blood it runs deeper than roots in the pond, bitch. I'm the electrician. There's bolts on my line. Turn to ha <laughs> Bolts on your line did, okay, big dog. I'm the electrician. There's bolts on my line. Turn to a wave, now there's running my joint. Surfing these crowds, bitch. I'm shining a yawn. But sign in my ears, I'm beyond that. Beyond my career is the ocean. You're spelling the pond. I'm Okay, all right, yo, you're you're a pawn, big dog. You know what I'm saying? She the ocean, big dog. Let's go. Career is the ocean. You're spelling the pawn. I won't respond to you, fuck boys. You can catch these hands up, Chuck boy. You a turkey, I'll rub for you up, boy. And if you think that shit was so tough, boy, then come to my crib, I'll give you a bib. I'll run you for your money, then go buy your limo. You said she gonna give you a bib. In other words, you a baby, big dog. <laughs> you just a baby. Boy, then come to my crib, I'll give you a bib. I'll run you for your money, then go buy your limo. You bit like the limbo. I shine like the disco, my style is so slick that they calling me Chris Go skin out, five percent tint on my window Block me from the world cause I feel like a widow Say to myself cause I'm stuck in said black me from the world cause I, that was a bar, big dog From the world cause I feel like a widow Say to myself cause I'm stuck in my mind Working for myself, bitch, I'll never be signed And I spoke to the spirits so I'm close Work for yourself, that's how you make that money That's how you make that cheddar, baby For myself, bitch, I'll never be signed And I spoke to the spirits so I'm close Ranch. They said genre, it is so bland. Okay, see, I really need to visit Ghost Ranch. Like, this is the thing. But at the same time, I'm going to visit in the daytime because I'm scary. I'm not going to lie. Because if I see some spirits, I'm up out that piece. Okay? This is re you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm out. <laughs> Ghost Ranch. They said a genre, it is so bland. I caught your country with a beer and dip. Yo, shadow bitches ain't she's My passenger seat empty. You can see because my window's down. Yeah. That was smooth. That was turned up right there, big dog. Boom, boom, boom. Church, 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 church. All right, so here's a conversation we gonna have. Let's have it. <laughs> All right, so my question for you is, how do you feel about cosines? Because if you look at um, rap history, right? For a long, like throughout hip hop, or some of these, throughout hip hop history, the cosign has been around. Whether it's been a cosign by a DJ or uh, cosigns by other rappers, it seems to me, and there's a conversation, it seems to me that a lot of female rappers, in order to get, reach a super huge platform, they need quote unquote a cosign. Not that they need it, like they're not talented enough. Uh, but it seems that more people flock to them after a man signs them off. And so the question that I have as a quote unquote feminist, and mind you, I am one. <laughs> yes. My definition of a feminist is a little bit different. I believe in the equality of all the sexes. You know what I'm saying? Like, so everybody should be treated equally. Man, woman, etc. That doesn't mean we're better. That doesn't mean we're worse. I just feel like everybody should be treated equally. Not only that. Sorry, my hair is a little wild because I was working out and I'm getting ready for this tour. Shameless drop here. Get your tour tickets. Um, not only that, why did I get on feminism in the first place? This is what happens with these things. It just goes on. We go on these tangents. But since we're on that, um, not only that, I don't, I'm not one of those people. I don't need a man. Blah, 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 blah. I like men. Thank you very much. I like them a whole lot. Yes. That's another conversation. But um, I guess from this feminist perspective lens, or not even from that lens, let's just say from a hip-hop fan lens, it seems to me that females don't reach mainstream success without, quote-unquote, like a male artist who's already on that. Or his, Okay, I'm not going to say mainstream. I'll say a level of success, right? without a quote-unquote male artist co-signing them or a like a dj or somebody male in the industry and i, I want, i'm just asking we should ask this question why is that you know what i'm saying not to say that there's something wrong with it well i think there is kind of something wrong with it. i feel like you, 
females should be able you should just be able to rock with a female's music i feel like it's almost like sometimes they just don't want to check the music out and that could be due to the negative perception of the way uh female rappers have been viewed in the past the images that they portray etc so they're just kind of fans are just kind of like turned off unless it's a rapper that they know and that they love with um messes with them or you could argue that maybe it's that way for a lot of artists. Like, uh, if you look at Logic right now, he's got a new artist signed to his label. He's co-signing them. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just an easier way to break into the industry. I just want to have a conversation below to see what you think about that. I'm not against it either, by the way. <laughs> I don't think that it's a negative thing. I think that it's interesting. Like, I guess for for me, it's just kind of like, you know, somebody like Katie Noel is dope by herself. Um... So why is it that once Ryan and Adam signed on, now mind you, I get it, it's because they have an astro astronomically huge fan base that, boom, she takes off a lot faster. Why wouldn't people just pay attention when she was by herself? If she was doing music, then I don't know. I'm just asking these questions. You guys can inform me in the comments. It just finds to be so curious. Even if you if you know the rapper Yo-Yo, she was, uh, was co-signed by Ice Cube. And it was after that that she just kind of took off. Uh, Nicki Minaj, right? Co-signed by Lil Wayne. She was rapping before that, but it was after Lil Wayne co-signed her. She just like took off. So why is it this? Why? Let me know in the comments. See you guys next time.